Hello, welcome to the first Spurverse of 2016. It's gonna be our year, is it? Who knows? Uh, it's gonna be our year. Um, oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, here's things we're excited about. Well, maybe. Are you excited about the Everton game? Did you watch it? Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. Thank God. I don't miss um, the game. Good. What did you think? Um, uh, it's a weird one because in one in one part of my mind I'm like, good point. Mm -hmm. In the other part of my mind I'm like, we destroyed them the first half and we want to keep the momentum going. But overall, I'd say a good point. Probably a fair result. In the I second half, it was KG. Delafeu was a problem. Delafeu, I'm, I'm a bit relieved Delafeu didn't yeah. play longer. Than yeah, he did. I yeah. think if he'd come on earlier, it could have been. A lot of people was questioning when Lennon came off. Delafeu, this ain't an Everton child. Forget the blues. Look, I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. It was a good result. It was a good the first half, the first 45 minutes. I mean, I don't think we played as good as that in one no, half. No, that's the, whole the best I've seen us play for ages. That first half, yeah. and it was a shame we didn't score. We hit the crossbar and the post. Yeah, and I just think we did feel score, like we was sorry, all over score more. Yeah, I just feel like we, we we were all over them. The football was was crisp. It was was passing it quickly. They couldn't get out of their own half. Even Lukaku yeah. was pinning his own half. Um, and it yeah, was it was Jan, good. Yan and Toby, they knew Lukaku's tricks, didn't they? They marked of him out of the game. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially Yan. Yan Until was on assist. him like white on rice. Completely. Well, that was the problem with the goal. To be fair, is that they, they doubled up on Lukaku and it left Lennon wide open. But well, I don't think anyone anyone would have. No one expected him. Lennon Hugo to Lloris bang that in. knows from training that Lennon has never even put one away in training like yeah. that. So it, I mean, no one saw that coming. He was obviously up for it. You know, former team. I yeah. respect that. But Any we hard really... feelings? Any hard feelings about? No, Lennon? no, no hard feelings whatsoever. I mean, he he just wasn't good enough to play for our team. He's good enough to play for Everton occasionally. Yeah. And he scored a good goal, but it's one of those things, isn't it? It's it's, it's a Touch of Spurs. He's a Spurs legend. Apparently, he got a standing ovation as he went off from the Spurs fans, which I think is fair enough. He's fair done play. a lot for us. What can we say? Our fans are classy. I mean, we're not, we're not, we're not racist yobs like Chelsea fans. We're classy. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, also, we have never lost a game that Lennon scored in. That remains true. Um, Deli Alley. Yeah. How many? Wait, wait. How many games did he score in? Yeah, that's that's that one. Um, Deli Alley goal performance. Oh, what do you think? His I'm, goal I'm, was incredible. I'm running out of things to say about this 19-year-old prodigy. I, I honestly. I don't, the thing is, he's English, so I don't want to do this, oh, let's gas him up, oh, let's take him to the Euros, and he's yeah. going to be phenomenal, he needs to, I don't want to do all of that. I just want to, every week, take it as it comes, see what he does, but on the basis of what we've seen, he, he's very good. He said about his goal that the pass was so good that he didn't have much to do. Bear in mind, this guy chested it down with both feet off the ground and then volleyed Volley. it in the bottom corner. I mean, he's, a, he's a modest kid. I mean, mate, that is that is beyond modest. I mean, what he can? Why can't you just say, yeah, well, you know, it was, a, it was a good finish. I took it, you know. <laughs> how most of you footballers Tom like Carroll. to speak. Tom Carroll's voice. Um, speaking of which, yep. for or against Tom Carroll, how do you think his performance was? I mean, he's come for criticism yep. in recent weeks that maybe he's been too weak and stuff like that, and he can't compete with some of the big lads in the centre yep. of the park and in the Premiership. Uh, people seem positive about him. This week, people said he had a good game. He was pinging passes all over the place, pulling strings. Yeah, he was. He was very. I think he was very good against Everton. He was controlling things. He was dictating the play from the, from the middle of the pot. But I, I, I do think that the Premier the Premier League is very physical, and it really just depends on who we're playing. The opposition. Everton like to play football. They're not really mm. a physical, physical team. Yeah. I mean, Lukaku's quite physical. Barkley is. But other than that, they're not like Newcastle. He in certain games against like Stoke or West Ham, he won't be able to survive. Poor little Tom Carroll. Plus, but he's only doing a job because Dembele's out anyway. Even I mean, against Everton, you can't help but think if we had Dembele, that would have been a much different game. I think we would have won if Dembele was there, to be honest. And that's the thing. He's just doing a job, isn't he, at the so end of the day? what about that, that Tom Carroll header right at the end? Oh. Eight, 88th minute oh, or something. Heart header, palpitations. Header out, straight up, edge of the box. Yeah. And then Besic volleys it and Maurice has to pull off an That was up there with one of the worst clearances I've seen this season. I mean, he's, he's, he's headed it just straight, like vertically, like... He's just like headed exactly. it like Listen, that. Listen, I agree. I think I agree with what Barnaby said. I think Tom Carroll was great, and I think he, he proved a point that he had to prove. He's also been searching his name and blocking people who are slagging him off, so chill out, mate. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're not watching this video. But I've got to say, I haven't felt really nervous as a Spurs fan in the way I used to for a while defensively. It's like there's certain times as a Spurs fan in the past where teams would attack and immediately I'd be thinking, right, we're going to concede. Yeah. And I haven't felt like that. And the only times, which is only about three in the Everton game, that I felt like that were because of Tom Carroll. I yeah. rarely felt like that because of anyone else. And I don't feel like that when Dembele's on the pitch. No, you don't. You don't. But I mean, we're not going to feel like but that. But I because... do think he's, he's amazing improvement from him. Yeah. His passing was quality most of the time. Was a couple of the thing is, he's not as young as people think he is as well. He's 24 this year. I mean, he mm -hmm. looks about 18, but he's, he's actually, you know, he's pushing on. So this is it for him. I think really this was kind of his last shot at Spurs. He had yeah. to kind of prove himself or we were, we were going to shift him. Well, Poch likes to reward form, so mm. maybe he'll start the next game. I, I want to see Onoma play more, you know? 
Yeah. I really, I really do. I think he's more physical. From what I've seen of Onomai, he's been really good. He's really good against Monaco. More attacking, more attacking though. Yeah, but Carroll likes to get forward as well. He can yeah. score a goal. I, I, I want to see a bit more of Onoma. Interesting. Let us know in the comments then whether you what you were rated at Tom Carroll's performance, whether you'd prefer to see Onoma uh, and, you know, Dele Alley, all that sort of stuff. What did you think of the Everton game? Were you there? Let us know. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you check out part two of Spurverts. We will see you there. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Spurverts part two. Resled Spurverts part one. Now it's my turn. 